Welcome back to Chat with Tessa. Today, we are shopping around for a tax-free savings account. We're going to be comparing different service providers and finding which one actually will give us the best return on our investment. So now you've been shopping around for a tax-free savings account and you're asking yourself, okay, all of them are saying they're offering tax-free savings ap accounts, but how do I choose? Um, which one is the best one for me? How do I go about choosing a tax-free savings account for me? Well, there are two types of sa tax-free uh, savings accounts that are out there, and that's the bank tax-free savings account and the investment one. But you can find the investment one with banks as well. So the bank tax-free savings account is usually the one that's invested in the money market, right? Where they give you a set interest rate and they say that your money will, go, will grow by this rate and that's a given, right? And then there are those that are investment tax-free savings account where your money is invested in, for example, unit trusts, ETFs which are considered to be collective investment schemes and those ones will obviously grow at different rates depending on what's happening in the market but usually the interest rate is higher than a tax-free savings account that you would have with the bank that is just given a set rate where they say okay you keep your money with us for x amount of time and you will make five percent or you make 7% of which you could be making higher than that, right? But yes, there is risk involved, but the tax-free savings account is quite regulated as well so as to protect your money, right? So the collective investment schemes such as unit trusts and exchange traded funds are things that even when you look at their performance, they just go like this. They're not going king me kongo, king me kongo, and then now you lose your money. No. So when you are looking for a tax-free savings account or you're speaking to a financial advisor and they're trying to have you open a tax-free savings account, ask them, guys. Ask them and say, hey, um, what is this tax-free savings account invested in? Are you guys giving me a set interest rate or is it invested in things like ETFs and unit trusts where my money has the potential of growing even more, you know, where y'all are not like taking my money and babysitting it and saying, hey, we're going to give you X amount of interest for it, right? So let's look at some of the examples of tax-free savings accounts that are out there that you can invest in. And my personal choice is easy equities, but that might not be suitable for everyone and like I mentioned, not everyone is comfortable with doing their own sort of investing and doing their own research before investing because they do have quite a few um, investment options that or things that you can invest in that can be overwhelming. You're like, well, how do I choose, you know? So let's have a look at the tax-free savings accounts that are out there and how you can differentiate between whether this is just going to be like those savings accounts where they tell me that this is the interest rate or this is going to be something where when I invest in it, I'm going to get, you know, an interest rate that is preferably higher than what some of these banks are offering. But there are banks that offer uh, tax-free savings accounts that are invested in something either than the money market right so let's start our shopping and we will start on the fnb website and we're going to look at the options that they have for their tax-free savings accounts so they seem to have three options the first being the tax-free cash deposit one the tax-free shares and the tax-free unit trust account let's start by having a look at the tax-free cash deposit account so on the tax-free cash deposit account this is the one that i would say is invested in the money market meaning that you're gonna get a set rate depending on how much you have in your tax-free savings account they will determine that rate depending on inflation or the prime rate or whatever they determine it on. 
so they're telling you that your your capital is guaranteed there's no risk um your original deposit and the quoted returns are 100 percent guaranteed so if you had invested 36,000 that year and they said you're going to get seven percent interest you will get exactly that that's what they're saying so those those fixed rates right um it says that it's free and there are no monthly fees and you have the ability to save from as little as a thousand rand oh okay as little as a thousand rand so I'm, I'm assuming that this is how much you need to have from the onset when you open this account i stand to be corrected i don't work for fnb i'm reading from their site um the convenience of managing your account online and on their app and you have access to the money uh in 32 days so you have to give notice the same way that you would have a 32 day notice account where you have to give notice uh when you want to have access to that money so this particular tax-free savings account for me in my opinion sort of does mimic a 32 day notice account where you do also have this capital guarantee and they'll give you like an interest rate of how much you're going to get at the end of that period or when you want to get your money out um let's look at what else they are saying about the uh, cash deposit account uh let's look at the rates if the rates are available and tada here they are so when you look at how much you have in that account if you have between a thousand and 9,999, this is how much interest you will get. This is the maximum interest that you can get, but this is when you reach that 500,000 lifetime limit. And it takes a couple of years for you to reach the 500,000 lifetime limit because per tax year, you can only contribute 36,000. So annually, you can see yourself maybe falling under this, ta this interest rate of 3.6 percent this is the maximum of how much you would get if you selected this option the tax-free cash deposit option with fnb and here's the date of um when this was published so that if you are watching this video much later you can go onto the fnb website and look for updated information let's go to the next one and see what they are offering on the tax-free shares account so on this account they say obviously you pay no tax and you don't pay any tax on any tax-free savings account so this is standard for each and every tax-free savings account that you might have they say we choose for you you don't have to choose your shares we do that for you so if you're comfortable with a service provider rather choosing for you instead of you having to do the choosing on your own then this would be perfect right affordable investing start investing from 300 rand per month and pay no monthly account fees all right so it seems that the minimum per month on this account would be 300 invest monthly or via lump sums so you can pay 300 per month or a 1000 once off lump sum or both so that's lovely that you can do it monthly or you can pay in lump sums okay this is what's important a diversified portfolio an investment in the top 100 companies on the jse and gives you the best chance of growth through the ashburton top 40 and the ashburton midcap etfs so with this particular account it seems that it's invested in two etfs the ashburton top 40 and the ashburton midcap etfs and that's where it gives you the exposure to these 100 companies through these two etfs so going back to where they say we choose for you it seems that what they choose for you is these two etfs I stand to be corrected, but this is my understanding of it. And this is what you get on the FNB tax-free shares account. Now let's have a look at the tax-free unit trust account. My understanding of the Horizon series is that it's unit trusts and you get to choose which unit trusts 
you invest in for this tax-free savings account with F&B. So you can have a look at um, the different funds that are part of this Horizon series. The Income Fund, Stable Fund, Moderate Fund, Growth Fund, Growth Plus Fund. And these are the fund fact sheets. I've spoken about fund fact sheets before, which is like the minimum disclosure document that tells you more or less what that particular fund is about, what it's invested in, what's the objective, what's their strategy and all of that. So you can go onto their site and have a look at the uh, minimum disclosure documents or the fund fact sheets for the unit trusts if you are interested in them. But here is an idea of the type of growth that you can expect. They say that they aim to beat inflation, right? So whatever the inflation rate is currently in South Africa, you need to take the inflation plus 1%, inflation plus 2%, inflation plus 3.5%, inflation plus 5%. uh, 5%. But how it's calculated, that's something that you would have to ask an F&B um, consultant when you are looking to open uh, an account and looking at this particular option. I do believe that probably the unit trust option and the um, the option of having the uh, shares account would probably generate higher interest rates than having the cash deposit account because with these two accounts they are invested in something they are invested in something like etfs and unit trusts which would probably give a higher rate a higher rate than just being given that standard three point something percent rate that we saw in the beginning when looking at this particular account but anyway, if you are interested in the FNB one, please do contact FNB or apply online. Having a look at what Capitec is offering with regards to their tax-free savings account, uh, same types of rules. Um, but what we're interested in is the interest rates. And here they give you a table that shows you the rates and fees. And it seems like the maximum you can get is 5.36%, but you have to consider how much you have in that account and the term. So looking at the first year, if you were able to put in the full 36,000, you would fall under this bracket right here. So there are two rates, the nominal and the effective, and they explain here what the nominal interest rate is. And they also explain what the effective annual interest rate is. So what's the difference between these two rates? But yeah, it's still unamusing. It's just three point something percent, similar to the low amount that we saw on the FNB deposit tax-free savings account. Yeah. So that's what you get with Capitec those are the options you have that's it yeah all right we're still shopping so let's move on to apsa and same storyline the standard things that apply with a tax-free savings account uh what you need to know but 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 we are interested in the interest rates let's look looks like a very similar structure to the um Capitec one that we just had a look at and the FNB deposit one, the first one we looked at with FNB because FNB had three options. But here with APSA, it seems that the maximum you can get is 4%. But considering when would you reach this amount, you'd only reach it after like 14 years or so because you have to take 36,000 per year and divide it by 500,000. And yeah, like how long would it take? So in the first couple of years, this is the rate. This is okay. Wow. No, um, no, this is a joke in my opinion. No ways guys. No, no, sorry. Um, no. Okay. So bye. (laughs) Okay. We're still shopping. Now we are at NetBank and we're looking at the rates. We're going directly to the rates because the rules are similar with most 
service providers when it comes to the tax-free savings account. The differentiator is the interest rate that you can earn. Net bank tax-free fixed deposit. So minimum opening deposit of 1,000. So in a 12 month period, so if you had deposited or have a balance of one between 1,000 and 24,999, here's the nominal rate and here's the interest on expiry, similar structure to what we saw at Capitec and APSA and the uh, deposit account at FNB. So here are the rates then. So if you put in your full 36,000 in that year, you had a, you have a chance of maybe getting about 4%. And this is the highest you can get. This is a joke. Goodbye. Moving swiftly along. Now we are with Old Mutual and we're looking at the fund uh, list that they have for their tax-free savings or rather tax-free investment account. It will either be invested in one of these um, funds and what's lovely is that they've made the fund fact sheets available so you're able to see okay what's the performance of the fund what is it invested in and all of that I remember when I opened my old mutual tax-free savings account uh, tax-free savings tax investment oh I need to get used to this um, there was a classification of or rather a classification by risk profile. So it being low risk, low to moderate, moderate, moderate to high and high risk of which I didn't even understand these risk levels. But there was a percentage that was written for each one of them, like more or less how much growth you can expect. So when you look through the fun fact sheets, um, for example, now we're looking at the top, 40 life fund sheet it's showing us okay uh the fund performance as at 30 november 2020 this is how much it has performed by 4.8 percent and the benchmark is five percent so it's below the benchmark and um it will also show you like uh the asset class or asset allocation and which are the underlying companies in this fund naspers which is a great company uh anglo-american first ran just to name a few that i can recognize the british american tobacco what 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 so these are companies that i can recognize and this would fall under the their moderate to high risk um tax-free savings option so if you're going to go with the low risk one or the low to moderate or moderate or high risk you should know which funds fall under that and these are all their funds it's a lot and i'm assuming that a consultant might need to help you but it seems that if you are assisted by a consultant some advisory fees you might be charged some advisory fees uh but let's look at another fund Let's look at what classification it falls under. So this is under their moderate risk portfolio. And what has the performance been on this one? Let's look. Um, fund performance. And it also has performed below its benchmark, right? Um, I don't really know how they group them. I just know that I, I wasn't able to select my own fund to say that I wanted to be in this fund or whatever. It's like they group them according to those risk levels that I just showed you guys um, that they reflect or show in at the top of the fund fact sheet. So before you make your investment with them, I think having a look at the fund fact sheets and seeing the performance would be helpful. As you can see, a lot of them, this is the percentage of growth that it sees. All right, guys, what's Standard Bank saying? Do they have something different for us? So, okay, the standard shebang, right? Tax-free savings 101, nice frequently asked questions that they have answered for us, which you can have a look at in your own time. I highly recommend that. And... They are saying that they offer uh, two types of tax-free uh, savings accounts, right? They have the tax-free call account 
and they have the tax-free investment account. So the Standard Bank's tax-free call account is a savings account that enables you to save up to 36,000 per year with a maximum of 500,000. All of them allow you to do that. Um, so we want to know about the interest rates, hey? So let's see what the interest rates are saying um, on this uh, call account that they're offering. Um, I, I, I believe it might look like what we've just seen. So here's the call account. <laughs> so opening deposit, meaning I, I'm, I'm assuming this is the minimum you can uh, deposit, 250 Rand. You have access to your funds anytime, whatever. But this is the interest, hey? 3.5%. You can earn up to. So meaning that it can be less than this. So this is the highest. Up to. Up to. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to go back. <laughs> and I'm going to look at the, the tax-free investment account that they offer. So they say that the tax-free investment account, this is an investment account which enables you to invest up to 36000 per tax year on the JSE uh, with a total limit of up to 500000 per lifetime like every other tax-free savings account, right? Unlike the tax-free call account, your funds are only available to you three days after a sale, Okay. You would also need to have an online shared trading account to open up a tax-free investment account. Okay, what is it invested in? That's what we want to know. Right. Minimum 250 Rand. Okay. Diversified over 70 ETFs to choose from. So here, they're not choosing them for you. Remember what we saw with the FNB one, yeah? Where they showed two ETFs that they chose. Here, it seems that you can choose your own ETFs. It seems like that. Like you can choose your own ETFs. Here it says access to stock market through selected exchange traded funds. Remember what is selected exchange traded funds? What do they mean? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that they allow you to choose your own ETFs, right? Um, which would be similar to what you have with Easy Equities, right? Where you have, have the ability to choose your own ETFs. So I would say that maybe this particular tax-free investment account option with Standard Bank would be the most or rather the closest competitor to easy equities option depending on whether or not they really do let you choose your own etfs all right this is the last bank we're going to have a look at it's an unlikely bank and i didn't expect this but while doing my research i found that they actually have sa's best savings interest rate starting at 8.7 percent per annum yeah so if you're going for the bank type of tax-free savings account where it's not necessarily invested in the JSE stock exchange and any ETFs and all of that, the best place to go might be African Bank. And here's the rate that you might get with them. The rest of the information that they are talking about here is the basic information that you should know about a tax-free savings account. But it seems like African Bank wins when it comes to the bank type of uh, tax-free savings. But look at options like what we explored with FNB, where FNB had the um, various options. So African Bank's option would probably beat this first option with FNB so maybe rather look at the second and the third option and if you're going to go with a uh, standard bank maybe rather look at the tax-free investment account instead I would not recommend all the other banks that were offering like four percent and all of that but you guys know who my favorite is my favorite is easy equities this is my tax-free savings account I've had it with easy equities for one year 
and it's all invested in ETFs, 100% in ETFs. This has been the growth, 19.41%. This does go up and down, but I don't, I've never seen it at lower than 11%. And this is how much I've made. And yeah, all my ETFs are within. <laughs> The only thing that sets them apart is honestly what they are invested in and how much interest you can potentially earn based on what it's invested in. And some of them are not even invested in anything. They're just saying, no, give us your money. We're going to do what we do with your money, but we'll give you some interest. Eh? And usually the interest is so little. So also, if you feel that your tax-free savings account is not performing up to scratch, you've had it for quite a few years, and you're like, you know what, I haven't made much. Like I said previously about the one that I had for two years or about almost two years with um, Old Mutual, which I then moved to Easy Equities and saw a huge difference, a huge difference, right? But I had to also choose my own investments. Whereas the one that I had with Old Mutual, things were chosen for me. I don't really think I fully understood those options that were offered. And yeah, the performance was just like, really guys, only this amount of money. No. So the growth that I'm seeing now that um, I've selected the ETFs that, I've, that, I've, that I'm putting in my tax-free savings account with Easy Equities. Now I'm like, yo, 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 yes, you know? And that's it for now with our tax-free savings account shopping. In the meantime, follow the Financial Chat Instagram page for more information about personal finances and follow my financial journey. Thank you, Nikansa. See you there.